When it comes to responding to students and their behaviors, teacher feedback is so important. So in today's video, we're going to talk about one specific type of feedback that you can use to help feed the needs of your students and be successful in your classroom. Hi everybody, Michelle here. I'm a behavior strategist and I help teachers and schools learn how to manage student behaviors with less stress and less struggle. So in today's video, we're talking about how to use a specific type of feedback that will help feed the needs of your students and help them to be successful in your classroom. For example, you may have a student who talks back to you after you give a verbal reprimand or verbal warning. And on the face of it, it looks, and frankly, it is disrespectful. But oftentimes I've found that from a student's point of view or a student's perspective, they are trying to avoid coping with feelings of embarrassment, shame, or even rejection. And they have learned that the way they avoid those feelings is by talking back to the teacher and getting in that last word. So now you have a student who is being disrespectful and has a need for major coping skills. That's where the strategy of corrective feedback comes in. Corrective feedback is when you communicate to a student, whether that's verbally, visually, or gesturally, what they need to do instead of what they are currently doing. So you are going beyond telling a student that their behavior is inappropriate or non-productive. What you are doing is that you are giving them a replacement behavior. There are three reasons why corrective feedback works so well. Number one, it gives the students another behavior to focus on. So oftentimes when we focus only on the behavior that is inappropriate, the behavior that is disrespectful or disruptive, that's what the student focuses on. It's all about that particular behavior. But when you shift things around, give a replacement behavior, it gives them that behavior to focus on, to work on, and to think about. Reason number two, it makes the student feel less defenseless. So when you are giving corrective feedback, remember you're talking about the behavior they're going to do instead. So it's not about defending what they have done in the past or what they just did. It's really about taking in the new behavior that you have given them. So they don't have to defend themselves. They don't have to worry about a comeback. All they really need to do is comply with what you have told them to do. Number three, corrective feedback is solution-based. And so it gives students a solution to feed their needs and help them do well in your classroom. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we both want? So how do you give corrective feedback? Here are some tips. Use a calm voice. When you are giving corrective feedback, now is not the time to be sarcastic or start yelling at the students. Remember, you want them to receive what you are sharing with them, what you are communicating. So calm is the best way. Next, have a neutral face. So if you've got an attitude in your face, if you've got this angry look in your face, once again, it's causing the student to feel like they have to defend themselves and they're less likely to receive what you're sharing. So have a neutral face. It can be stern, right? But it still needs to be neutral. Give them an alternative. A lot of times our students don't know what to do instead, especially when they're angry, they're frustrated, and they feel like they have to defend themselves. So it's up to us, teachers in the classroom, educators, support staff members, to give them another way to behave, but yet still feeds the need that they have. Also, be aware of when it's the best time to communicate. Should you do it in front of the group or should you do it one-on-one? -on -one? Because remember, we're not trying to embarrass the student. Our goal is to give them feedback that corrects the behavior, giving them something different to do and focus on. So timing is very important. 
Corrective feedback is such a great tool. You'll want to add it to your behavior in classroom management toolbox. Right now, I am working on a video to give specific examples of what corrective feedback can look like based on your grade level. So if you have any scenarios or situations that you would like me to cover, make sure you leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, if it was helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Ooh.